Welcome to the Venture BC Sailing Channel. This is Venture, my 1988 Catalina 30. This is me. My name is Kiana. And this is my partner, Marianne. And this is installing a tripless shaft seal. I started with removing my propeller. I'm going to be replacing it with a three blade prop as well as pulling the shaft. I put a block of wood between the propeller and the hull and used an adjustable to remove the nut. Surprisingly, the propeller came right off. In the past, I've had to use pullers. Don't forget about the key on the shaft. In order to get better access to my engine, I'm going to remove my galley counter with the sinks. I removed all the screws along the wood strips inside the counter, along with detaching the oven by lifting it out of the hinges. I disconnected the sink underneath by detaching the drain hose and two water hoses, and then it was just a matter of pulling the counter out and moving it. Wouldn't it be sweet if you could always access the engine as well? So the goal is to remove the coupler so that the shaft can be removed from the coupler so that we can feed the new shaft seal on. The stuffing box will have to be loosened up and removed once we're able to slide the shaft back. I got started by undoing the bolts between the coupler and the transmission flange. Once the coupler was detached, I removed the wire between the set screws and removed the set screws. I sprayed penetrating oil in the set screw holes and around the coupler, and then I used heat to help loosen the coupler up. I wasn't able to fit a puller between the coupler and transmission, so I used a socket in the middle and bolts and nuts to tighten the coupler to the transmission flange while the socket pushed the shaft out. In the beginning, I broke several bolts. I would recommend using good quality stainless steel fine threaded bolts. Once I got the coupler removed, I slid the shaft back and pulled off the old stuffing box. The shaft seal I'm installing is PYI's Packless Sealing System Shaft Seal. The kit comes with the Nitro Bellow stainless hose clamps and already connected the graphite flange, hose barb for the vent, and a stainless rotor along with set screws. Before reinstalling the shaft, I cleaned it up with an abrasive pad on my grinder. While I was doing this, I cleaned up my strut as well so that my zinc would have a nice surface to bond to. After reinstalling the shaft and installing the bellow onto the shaft lock, I applied dish soap onto the shaft to get it ready for the stainless rotor. I put dish soap on the stainless rotor as well and slid it onto the shaft and passed the keyway. I then applied Loctite onto the set screws and screwed them into the holes on the stainless rotor. After leaving the coupler next to my heater, it was nice and warm. I placed it on the end of the shaft and got the bolts ready to connect it to the transmission flange. So I thought it would be pretty tough um, just because of how hard it was to detach it, but because they were both super clean after I cleaned them and I left the little stainless rotor for the, for the shaft seal and the coupler just in front of my heater, um, they were nice and warm and it's pretty cold now, so the shaft was cold, 
and um, everything being clean, it just, yeah, it kind of slid, I mean, it didn't slide in, it fit in slightly, and then I went and put a block of wood on the shaft and bashed that. Seems to be really the only way to do it, so. Yeah, it's all in. I could watch as it was sliding in. I could watch um, the holes where the set screws go, and I just waited till they were lined up. Um, it would ideally be a two-person job because one person could bash while the other one watches, but it was fine. I just came back and forth, and yeah. So I'm gonna run some wire between these set screws. Um, make sure they don't come loose and I'll have to tighten this up still, make sure it's all good, and then I have to set the rotor. So, let's do it. I marked where the rotor sat against the carbon graphite flange on the shaft so that I could use that as a reference point and then had to compress the bellow three quarters of an inch past that point and use the set screws to lock that in place. While I was working inside the boat, Marianne did a great job painting the bottom. To finish off the job, I installed the new propeller, the Zinks, and lastly, I just had to bring the vent hose above the water line and tie it up under the sink. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you have any recommendations for videos you'd like to see. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next week.